So here we're going to test the uh, water pressure of, in the home. Uh, this is a home without a pressure regulator valve or a PRV. Um, I picked up this uh, pressure gauge at the local Home Depot. Um, it's, a, it's a regular screw-on type and it's cold outside so I'm going to do it in the slop sink, show you the pressure. Um, you know, I didn't think this would be a, a real big problem but uh, I thought, you know, what the heck can check. So started to read about the pressure that, that was recommended for our area. Um, so it's about 45 to 50 PSI and uh, we're going to take this at, at the slop sink which is only about mm, probably five, six feet from the water heater and probably about 15 feet from the main entrance uh, water. Um, so let's take a look. I got it screwed on and I got a little red indicator uh, to turn on. So we'll turn on right there. I don't know if you can see that but it is right now sitting at 80. The little guy jumped up and it's not a very good it's not a very good meter. It's not glycerin filled or anything so right, I'll scoot it over. See at 80 uh, that's it's pretty high and um, Unfortunately, we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is put in this these set here uh, pressure regulator valve, which is set at uh, 50 psi. You can read the little indentation plate. All of them should have that. It's really bad to read, I know. It's available between 20 and 75 psi. There we go. Um, but this one right here is set at 50 preset. So, uh, and also we're going to replace it with a main. I got these Shark Bites at Home Depot um, screw on to here instead of, uh, instead of regular solder joints. And uh, they're not much more expensive, and I don't have to go buy a, all the, the torch and the flux and the solder and everything else. So, I'm going to try this route and see where it takes us. We'll have a video here when it sets it all back up and show you the completed uh, new main.